My name is Jillian, and this summer I was in the Van Eck Lab investigating insect defense systems in ground cherry as a model for related Physlis species. So Physlis is a genus of fruit plants that have abundant nutritional and medicinal properties. Ground cherry is a Physlis species uh, that is less susceptible to insect herbivory than other species, and its leaves produce these metabolites called withanolides that reduce insect uh, herbivory for a number of species. And so we wanted to see if high with analyte content could be a viable breeding target uh, to make this list more insect resistant and more compatible with large scale production. And so we used CRISPR to create uh, ground cherry mutants where we knocked down uh, two genes in the withanolide biosynthetic pathway to increase flux and increase withanolide accumulation. And then we genotyped the mutant lines to confirm that they were edited where we wanted them to be. And then we used those lines in an insect bioassay with teeny caterpillars, where one caterpillar was placed in a dish with a leaf disc of a wild type or mutant genotype. Um, and then we collected feeding and survival data every 24 hours, which brings us to our data. So the x-axis is leaf genotype for both plots and the y-axis is percentage of larvae. And we found that the teeny do not seem to prefer the wild type or the mutant genotypes um, for feeding and that they survive at similar rates on all the lines, which is unexpected, but it may be due to the fact that teeny are a generalist species. And so they're sensitive to the baseline amount of withanolides in the wild type. Um, but to really understand what's going on here, we have to actually um, understand what the withanolide profiles of our wild type and mutant lines look like. And so the rest, or the other part of my summer was spent uh, trying to optimize metabolite extraction methods. Um, so we tried two methods and unfortunately both uh, generated some pretty low quality data where we were unable to detect withanolides. But this testing is, um, it's ongoing. And so in the future, we'll be able to actually look at what the withanolide levels and profiles are in our mutants. And then um, in the future, we will also perform some bioassays like this one, but using Lema beetles instead. And Lema are fistless specialists. And so they're more likely to uh, tolerate withanolides at a higher, to a, a higher extent, a greater extent than, um, than the teeny. So we'd be able to see a distinction between wild type and mutant if there is one like we expect. Uh, yeah, you did a great job. I'm just wondering, is this pathway here uh, like a general strategy you can use to help with um, like insect herbivory and different plants? Um, that's a good question. So with analides are known to reduce herbivory in several other plants for several other insects. Um, I'm not, I imagine that this pathway is similar with plants, but I know that this is the, the one for fistless. So. Okay, no, uh, great job. You did a really nice job. Yeah.